team the next portion of my lows we're going to learn about will be the purchase feature if you go up and click on purchases there it'll bring up the main purchase screen of my lows quite simply uh, how purchases work uh, from the type box here you have a couple options this will display all purchases and your other two options will be online or in store so if you click there you can isolate either one of those to just that type of purchase method if we go up here to within this will be a date range as you can look back to see your purchases I think there's about five options here you have 30 days look back six months 2013 2012 are all uh, scanned purchases on my lows if we go back and look six months let's just say there for a date range it should bring up all purchases made um, online and in store within the last six months from here as well to um, there's many key features that also relate to different portions of my lows from the purchase screen they'll give you the information from the day of the purchase what store how it was purchased there's your my lows car that it was run under the invoice number uh, the total of the purchase there for those items but most important here too if you go to any item that you purchased and you see where it says save item or set reminder now why these two boxes here are very important because they're also key benefits of the Milo's program we're going to talk about those right now and how they relate to the customer any purchase that you make at Lowe's you're gonna see these next to any product these boxes will always be there what they do if we go over here let's go to view details what I'm doing by going to view details is this is uh, specific information about this purchase and this purchase alone let's just go down here where you see now it says save item so like I said you're gonna see these boxes on any product that you have um, on Lowe's.com or has now been entered onto my Lowe's if you hit save item you're gonna have two choices here you'll be able to add this item to a list or you can add it to a home profile I'm gonna choose to do it to a home profile to show you at a later date so I've done that it's going to confirm that the item is saved or when you see set reminder this is very cool very new uh, very different um, very important to a customer too this is something we're probably not talking about but there's tremendous value in this, this is something no one else has to offer when you see set reminder let me find a product here that would relate to let's look at the batteries set a reminder what a reminder is going to do is on items let's say smoke detectors water filters air filters um, things that wear out things need to be replaced this is really cool so let's just pick these batteries here because we know eventually sometime they're gonna run out so what this is gonna do is whatever we choose to say it let's say I wanna know every three months and I can pick the day so let's say you know I can even choose starting from this day here and add notes in here and now what this is going to do is on whatever day I picked it is going to send me an email to the email that's registered to the my Lowe's account um, reminding me to hey your batteries may need to be replaced hey your water filters out hey your air filters by dirty so really really cool um, something that can really help with everyday life because we're so busy so keep that in mind and try to try to really explain that to the customer it's very different and a very cool thing one of the last things I'm going to talk about here on the purchase features of Milo's if we go back here to purchases I just want to talk about how you can add um, previous purchases to Milo's as long as you have certain uh, documents I'm going to show you here let's go over to find add purchases you can do it two ways from here or also where it shows you down here let's just go up here real quick okay there's three different ways and three different purchases that you can add to Milo's um, I've actually done this so I know it works so it's very cool um, if you have made an online purchase and you do not uh, obviously do not get to use your my Lowe's card go down here and the information where it's going to be found is going to be um, through your online invoice uh, or your paper invoice is going to show up to you uh, in the mail um, the other way is uh, in store needs three different pieces of information there your transaction number uh, that's where it will be shown to you on the receipt the purchase date that's where it will be shown at on a, on a Lowe's receipt there and the store number that's going to be at the bottom of the Lowe's receipt as you see right there once you enter all that information there you hit find add purchases uh, the last method there too is in uh, in store SOS 
and they're just going to ask for the uh, PO number and that's where it will be located for the customers that can add it. So if the customer has any questions about this too, please explain to the customer the value when you're explaining my lows to them because this is very, very cool and then go back and do this. Also as well, if they come into the store and they need help adding something, it's really simple just like that. As long as they can log in there, you can be able to get the, the solve for them. Like I said, once the information is entered on any one of those, you just go down there and you find add purchases. It's going to pull up the purchase, then you'll press save and it will add it to there.